Welcome back in Western Slope. I'm your meteorologist Barrett Benson. Friday's finally arrived, but I'm more excited for the cooler temperatures that have finally arrived as well. Seeing cloud coverage so far this morning as that sun slowly rising. Temperatures chilly in the 50s getting out the door before seeing 60s return to the Grand Valley again this afternoon. Temperatures finally below average after a three week period of unseasonably warm conditions. So excited about that. I mean, finally, right? We are seeing those fall like conditions as this low pressure trough dips down to the south. We're seeing moisture being pushed into the region for chances for showers and even some snow potential to the higher elevations. We saw showers push through last night. Cloud coverage sticking around this morning. A little bit of some shower activity initiating off the Incompagre Plateau as well. If this continues, we'll be seeing some showers develop and push into the Grand Valley later on this morning and probably about an hour, an hour and half. We're going to be seeing chances for showers up until around 11 a.m. and then a break up until 1 p.m. And then after that, seeing a continuation of that 70% chance of showers with more widespread shower activity over the higher elevations that could drift into the Grand Valley. Expect to see some rain today. Uh, if you don't see rain, you'll notice wind speeds increased. We'll be seeing a little bit of some thunderstorms develop here and there, but those will push out probably pretty quickly. The things you got to watch out for are the widespread showers. It'll last a little bit longer, but those will be lighter precipitation. Low pressure tracking down to the south, bringing that snow potential with it as well. We're getting our moisture from the south. That means the San Juans are going to eat up a lot of the snow potential for the state of Colorado, leading to winter storms. Storm warnings in the San Juans getting up to maybe three feet of accumulation come Sunday with uh, showers and snow pushing through this entire weekend. We'll be seeing this consistently push through uh, slowly but surely giving us more and more snow. Anything above tree line in the San Juans will see the heaviest snowfall. Uh, so if you're following or if, I guess if you're going to be driving down in the San Juans or doing any kind of outdoor activities this weekend, stay very prepared and uh, yeah, make sure that you have everything that you need stocked up on water, food, just in case anything happens on the road. We're going to be seeing this low pressure continue to dip down, bringing in those cooler temperatures as well with 50s and 60s in the forecast this afternoon, 40s and 30s tonight. And then even cooler temperatures tomorrow with 50s and 60s taking over. So temperatures trending below averages with chances for showers and snow in the higher elevations. Uh, keep this in mind throughout the weekend because it's going to be a little bit muggier weekend. Might want to stay indoors with 60s and uh, showers this weekend. Going to see a little bit of an increase in temperature next week, getting back into the 60s before 70s with sunshine. Montrose just a little bit cooler remaining in the lower 60s before 50s on Sunday. Chances for showers throughout the weekend before 60s next week as temperatures will continue to climb back above seasonal averages getting close to 70s in the Padre Valley, but a little bit of a wet weekend ahead with those snow values and higher elevations.